All right. Uh, welcome, guys, to a special, I don't want to say another episode, a what special three-part series of the oh. Unlaced Podcast. Dun, 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 yeah, categories that, you know, gave them the three-part series. So you got to watch all three or you're not going to get the full experience. You need to of, do it, yo. You know? So this is a three-part series of the Unla- Unlaced Podcast. Sorry. Um, if you see me go off screen, it's because I'm trying to get my charger. Oh, no, you're you good. You yeah. never know when it's going to work, you know? So I did. I did my. I did mine already, so I'm good. Um, but we are here. Um, well, I'm, I'm playing start, around with mine, remember? Let's start with I'm Chris. I'm your host, Chris. And then on the other screen uh, is my other host, Gabe. What up? We are, we are, to give you a little background, so me and Gabe were having a conversation, uh, and Gabe had brought up a brilliant idea that, you know, he was talking about The Last Dance, and we were, you know, talking about the documentary and how, you know, we find out Michael Jordan is a psychopath when it comes to, you know, his career, and getting to see the inside of, a little glimpse of the inside of the mind of Michael Jordan and like the people around him that had to play with them and coach them and everything like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. And so Gabe came up with the brilliant idea that maybe we should talk about the shoes of the last dance. And so that was a great idea. And so when he brought this idea up, the last two episodes were coming out the next day. So we thought, let's, what up? let's, let's, Here talk, we are. let's talk, let's talk some uh, last dance documents decipher it has hence the title deciphering the last Dance." deciphering which oh, actually I, actually i just kind of like threw out and i was it was literally just the only word that came to mind and the the fact that you thought okay. i could tell that you had through throughout that uh throughout that day but i was like i can't honestly i cannot think anything clever than deciphering the last dance which is sad i have some great titles i have some great titles for pocket for the for our episodes but this was just i was like eh. for the record every time i pitched an idea i pretty much got shot down every time just just he's 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 like one for five now so you know exactly yo. Shannon this, Fry is, in the this, finals this, right this now. is the one Shooting right percentage. here <laughs> um but yeah so we decided to come together and mm-hmm. we we're going to break down in three episodes we're going to break down all 10 episodes of the last dance documentary mm-hmm. uh we will be talking about the shoes so we have we're going to break down so this will be about episode one through three Mm-hmm. So we will be breaking down uh, some of the key shoes made appearance in each episode, uh, as kind of as a whole. I because I, I can't remember. Go ahead. This is the this is the mixtape cover screenshot. Like, oh yeah, screenshot for her. <laughs> part one and there's the thumbnail. Part one. <laughs> so we're we're trying to. I we I couldn't really like because each episode's like an hour, so I can't really like pinpoint each uh specific second of the documentary i we can we can our journalism just, skills aren't there yet you know, we're, we're, that, you, know. you know when until you until you guys pay us we're not us, there yet you know. Yeah, you know but uh we're we're gonna go through the shoes uh we have three but mm-hmm. actually we're gonna have four uh mm-hmm. i'm gonna leave that for gabe at the end uh but what we're gonna start off with is of course I'm just hearing about this, by the way. So I yeah, don't, I yeah. Because I, because when I uh, we watched uh, episode three, it mm. ended on the like you were you were talking about how uh, it was the transition from the individual accolades to the actual Jordan. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah being, right, right, uh, right. being an actual champion. Yeah, because there's a that. there's kind of an emphasis to the documentary. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I think that. that's the end of episode three. That's how because that's when he like that's the finally getting over the hump of the. Detroit Pistons mm-hmm. and so yeah so we're gonna leave that for the end so we're gonna you know kind of sprinkle a little bit on it but we're gonna get more to it the next part so let's start let's just start with the first one so we're gonna go through shoot it bro it's the first one uh Lay something on that us. you are personally uh drum roll please <laughs> you're you're personally we're we're gonna go through Jordan 13 um Mm. So in episode one, uh, if you guys watched the, the documentary, you know that they kind of wait, bounce. But I just want—I just want. Oh, actually, no. I'm gonna keep it off screen. My bad. Can you tell what's under the mic right now? No. Oh, okay then. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> um, oh my god. Um, so in episode one, uh, if mm-hmm. you watch the documentary, they go mm-hmm. through a the way they they structure a documentary is they start from. 90 the year after they won 
This is the structure of the documentary. Right here, yeah, bro. it's all over the place. <laughs> they they start so they basically kind of do they but they kind of keep it organized. So they start from the year after they won this ninety six ninety seven championship, okay. and so that was that's where they start the documentary off because the big drama happened at the ninety seven ninety eight year of mm-hmm. them trying to go and get a uh, their third championship, which would complete a second three peat that they had they had done. Mm-hmm. And that's where all the drama happened. Uh, hence the the name of the documentary, Last Dance, and what uh, Phil Jackson had uh, categorized the year as. Um, and so, with that, they went to Paris, and they were doing an exhibition game. And mm-hmm. again, if, in the comments, please correct me. I think it's an exhibition game because they didn't really say what it was because they won like a, is, uh, a trophy for it. Where Chris gets to gets to showcase his uh, journalism skills. Yeah, you know, so I, they did, but they didn't hard say work, what it was. Work. They they said summer of, and then they said oh, going. They just kind of just jumped into the season. So I don't know if it's an mm-hmm. exhibition game or mm-hmm. whatever it is. But it's, um, it's how they layered just the the documentary, bro. I'm telling you, it's kind of all over yeah. the place. You really, you know. So the first shots that we get of Jordan. Uh, going into the practice of practice facility as well as in Paris is wearing the he got game 13s mm-hmm. so I think that's where we want to start off with um, there are, I'm going to put up a video uh, there's a nice little video of him and his two sons in Paris and they're like bouncing the ball back and forth and they all got the 13s on it's like that so I thought we would structure how they structured the, the uh, documentary and go mm-hmm. by off of appearance and of course importance and he got game 13s are something that is, you know, in a sense, very popular in the culture alone. Um, I think it's most notably from the movie, he got game, uh, Denzel Washington, uh, the Jesus, uh, Shuttlesworth, you know, Jesus Shuttlesworth and everything, him going into the, into, I think it was Foot Locker and buying the the 13s after he got out. And he was like really excited. True. Um, I think that's where most people would, you know, that's Associate. the first image that comes into yeah. their mind when they think about them. Um, but I want to throw it to you. Uh, when you saw the thir- the thirteens, what was your first impression? Uh, honestly, um, the quality, I guess. Literally, just looking at them um, in the in the in the um, doc. This is to almost like any shoe on documentary that comes out. You yeah. can just kind of tell the difference between what went into producing a shoe back then mm-hmm. and what we get now, um, at least for like the collector or the wearability aspect or like the whole, just like a overall way better quality that it yeah. looks like uh, visually, at least yeah. uh, even like the structure, you can see the height difference in some of the shoes. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of cool. I like it. Like uh, um, it, it makes me wish that, I could wear older uh, retros without them falling apart instantly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which you kind of can. You know, people people waste money. I mean, not waste money. They put money into that. Yeah, and they do the sole swaps from like a a newer retro into an older shoe. Mm. Sometimes it just uh it doesn't line up the same, or it doesn't really like. You can just kind of tell, and I, I don't really like that. But uh, I'm gonna look into it. Yeah. Someday. Yeah, so I I thought it would be great if like so like that for like you I I thought it would be great the way we break it down is uh giving our first impressions when we saw the shoe and like what our reaction was Every when we dog. saw them. Yeah. <laughs> and so can it was kind of one of yeah. the dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's funny. He's going crazy. Uh yeah. but we could see like based off of just like what our first impressions were when we saw them, like my reaction to seeing it, because of course for people that like, you know, that are into shoes, we kind of this documentary also highlights us seeing like the person that you know kind of brought sneaker culture to, like to the mainstream mm-hmm. and seeing what our reactions were when we saw those because you know we had this talk you know on the phone we never saw jordan play in the hype of jordan's career like in that like the, the main tier and like i don't want anybody to ever come on here and be like yeah i, I watched jordan like no i was born in I mean, 90 some, <laughs> so, some some people have that memory that i mean if you were born in 90 you could have been you know eight years old yeah at the at the end of it you could have probably would have remembered the last dance i guess maybe yeah and me i know i watched a couple games from that season but for me i don't remember mm-hmm. anything on it like i just know that my dad was a huge fan of the bulls so that mm-hmm. was why i watched them but i you know i i'm eight like i'm hyperactive i want to play video games and stuff like that so most of the time i don't i couldn't tell you a single moment from the Jordan 
like error and the Whoa. Bulls error. Mm-hmm. Um, and like we had to talk on like my first like real like understanding of Jordan was when he was with the Wizards already. So you know, Same I, here. you know, it's it's really I'm not gonna sit here and try to act like I know. Oh yeah, when Jordan came out with the 13s, I, I needed those immediately. No, I didn't know what shoes were like that. No, I, I definitely <laughs> so, didn't. For sure, for sure, I didn't. Uh, my 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 like furthest memory or my oldest memory of any shoe is um a spider-man shoe from like payless straight up it wasn't like I think that's most of our memories yeah, yeah. <laughs> the but, like, but like i i think those light-ups were around that time when i was like eight or yeah. whatever so yeah definitely didn't yeah know what a jordan would have been what 98 uh 13 fuck no yeah no nah. so i think i know for like oops uh, so that's it, bomb <laughs> so I know for us, like just looking at him now as an adult and seeing him and just kind of like, what's our first memory of the shoes when we see him? Like, and some of the shoes, like the 13s for me were when they first, uh, when they, uh, the, the, I was a big fan of the Chicago 13s. Like uh-huh. that was, that was my shoe. Like I wasn't mm-hmm. a big fan of the He Got Games. And so when I saw that, I instantly went to Chicago 13s. And he, you know, there is a photo of him and Scotty on the bench, and there's the photo of him with them on. Uh, I must admit, I've never owned any of the OG colorway 13s. Oh, no? Oh, I'm uh, my most favorite 13 are uh, uh, Grey Toes. Okay. But not the latest retro. I hate those. Because, yeah, no, I don't. I don't. Yeah, but the, uh, what year was it? Great I was, toes. I don't know, but I was in middle school. I know for a fact I was playing for. I, I, I had them in high school, so I don't know, but I, that's my favorite thirteen. That I remember, I wanted those so bad to play in my in the the basketball. My friend Clarence had them, and I was so upset that he had them and I didn't. Mm-hmm. But that was like I think that was like the first time I like want like I know I had a pair of. There's a baby picture. If I can find it, I'll put it up here. But there's a baby which I did have. Uh, I was, I don't I forgot what Jordan it was, mm-hmm. but I could have swore when I was a kid I had a pair of uh, of uh, was it thirteens? I think. I think when I was a kid, and that that was my first memory of them, because I saw it in the picture, and I was like, oh. Will cool. we ever know? Yeah, well, what, if, <laughs> I, if I find the picture, I know, I know, I forgot what Jordan was, but I know for a fact. But anyways, yeah, when I first saw the He Got Game, my first, uh, my first thought of the the 13s were the Chicago 13s, and how, like, those were my favorite. So. All right, yeah, that didn't, that didn't really work. I'm about to break something over here, so <laughs> never mind. It was something at the dog. Yeah. But yeah, so I'm, um, not even, I'm not even gonna bother now. But yeah, so I think for me it was my that was my my biggest I think my biggest memory uh was the Chicago thirteens and being able to get them and finally being able to like play ball in them and finding out that the thirteens are not the best basketball shoe for me. Uh I mean really, yeah, I I, no. I thought they were pretty comfortable. I like them. You did? Um I never used them for basketball, but I could I could imagine playing basketball and then like I'd, I'd be able to oh okay. god yeah i don't i don't remember yeah, like, I, I'd be I, remember I, play, they, I think it was probably because i had probably had like a half size too big so they felt really like big on me when i wore them i, I did have a uh, low top 13 chicago's uh oh yeah oh, I, I did have those, those. i always had um, those uh, i got those for my brother-in-law if i remember correctly mm-hmm. uh i didn't wear them very often because they um I couldn't properly clean them. I didn't like, there's certain shoes like back then, if I knew what to do now that I knew then, then you can, I, I would have known how to be able to unyellow them and all that. Yeah. Instead of just throwing um, them in the washer. Exactly. Yeah. Was, exactly. We were so, we were so like immature thinking about yeah. like, cleaning and stuff like that. That was, that's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so. I mean, people knew how to do it back then, but it wasn't as accessible. Mm. We didn't have the internet. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> not not like. I mean, we did, we did, but know. it wasn't it wasn't like that. Yeah, we weren't we weren't thinking of cleaning them. I was running through them more than I was than anything. Yeah. Like I was wearing them three or four times out of the week anyway. So, no, but yeah. So like for me, that's my first memory. What about you? Like thirteen, like thirteens and 
general, I should say. Um, I don't really. I mean, that was kind of it. You know, it wasn't. I only own. I only own those two. Uh, I always wanted altitude thirteens, um, but I never got them. I love those. Um, I really like the mellow thirteens that came out the and the um, wait was the mellow no Carm- no uh, CP three CP three thirteens uh huh and and mellow wasn't it, it wasn't mellow had a one I know mellow had, had a, a one. one he had a one to go yeah. the black and gold ones. Well, CP3. They, are you talking about like a P? Like CP3 was, I think, the only one. Yeah, it was the mellow one, recently. black and yellow, right? Wasn't it his high school colorway? Black and yellow. Yeah, dude. I'm not. I'm not. I know. I'm not. Did tripping. it drop or was it a? Yeah, or was it a, yeah, yeah, yeah. It dropped. I don't think it's. Did it? I thought it was CP3. Doing CP3 some did. Searching. I thought that was CP3. I know the white and uh, for the New Orleans colorways because they did his uh New Orleans PDs. Yeah, you see? Mellow class of 2002, 13s. I know I'm not tripping, bro. What do those drop? What? Do they have the red bot? They have the red the red uh bottom for t- Look at my knowledge, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> did they have the red did they have the red soul, right? It runs deep. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Oh, okay. They do have the red soul. Hmm. I don't remember that. See? You know too. Oh yeah, I I know I know they had the rest. I didn't know that they, I didn't know that they dropped. Damn, <clears throat> I you know what I think it was. I probably could, I probably associated with some just a like regular drop. These dropped. I didn't care about these them. dropped uh, September fourteenth, twenty eighteen. Twenty eight. Okay, yeah. So I definitely wasn't paying attention there. Yeah, that's crazy. No, yeah, those those. I I always like I always wanted the uh uh was it Quentin Richardson. Or was it Rip mm-hmm. Hamilton that had the mm-hmm. was was it was, it was uh, Quinn Mercer right? I think they both had uh, PEs of the thirteens, right? Yeah, yeah. I forgot. I think it was Rip Hamilton no, then with uh, the white, but had the uh, blue and uh, blue and red. I think it was Rip Hamilton. It was probably um, Rip Hamilton. I mean, maybe we can insert it. You know. Yeah, no, quick. those were the ones I like. I wanted so bad when. What they, minute is this, bro? Take note. Saw them. What minute is this for the thirteens? <laughs> yeah. No, no. I was about to. I was about to honestly jump to. Uh, I was about to give you the floor for the ones. Oh well, there you yeah. go. Spilling beans, running it. Always, always. Um, and so. Yeah. So that's. That that. Thirteens are cool. I like them. What, okay, at, the end, quick, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I like thirteens a lot. Um, I love that they're inspired by the uh by uh Panthers, Black Panthers. Yeah. Um, are are all Panthers black? I don't know. Do I have to say Black Panthers or can I just say Panthers? Like, Pan- I think I Panthers to, is like just it's universal. Yeah, do too, I so. have Do I have to specify Black Panther because Michael nah. Jordan Black Panther? So, nah. anyways, because then the people will get the yeah, they'll they'll confuse you with um. You know. Well, uh, I, I like that uh design aspect of the 13s as well. Okay, and so in uh, five words or less, uh, where do you rank the 13s overall? Five words or less? Five words or less. Well, how about this? Uh, out, of one th- out of one through 14, Okay. because that's generally where everyone's list ends. Yeah. Okay, out of one through 14, the 13 would be probably like, At thirteen. <laughs> okay. Going going back up. Going back up it'd probably be at thirteen. Okay. Uh for me, I would say I wouldn't pick the thirteen out of five. Any, out of Yeah. One, two. Okay. Yeah. For me, five. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So, yeah. so um moving on. Uh I, 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 I might I might pick the thirteens out of the twelve over the twelves. So that's probably the only two. Oh, okay. Yeah. Eh, my 12s are pretty high for me. But we'll get to that when we get to the 12s. Um, so, boom, 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 boom. so next in the documentary, yeah, uh, I believe it was uh, episode, I think it was still episode one, because episode one, they were talking about his, uh, uh, no, actually, no, episode two, sorry. Uh, What's next? They, oh, yeah. There's there's a, a scene in one of the documentaries of, Part of when Jordan is going through his bag, I think it's his third Lay it on year. Us. Lay it on us. Yeah, it's his third year, I believe. 
and uh-huh. he's going through his bag and he he pulls out the Nike airships and then also pulls out the Jordan Word one. Word to the ships. Ooh. And so he pulls out the Jordan one and, you know, he, it's like, it's this small clip. It's just a little like a throwaway, looks like, of him just going through a bag. And I think they're just doing it for perspective. Um, mm-hmm. So I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave the floor to you. Um, I just learned, I recently learned about the difference between the airships and the Jordan one. Mm-hmm. Uh, when it comes to release dates and when mm-hmm. they came out and how that whole situation, the confusion between people assuming that some of the early pictures of Jordan playing in the airships were Jordan ones when they weren't. Uh, and so I'm going to leave the floor to you to talk about the Jordan ones because you are our Jordan one connoisseur. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't like these titles being thrown around like that. I'm just going to cause then, there. cause then, cause then that means I have to live up to certain expectations. Anybody that has any, com- any questions about the Jordan ones, ask Gabe. He knows <laughs> everything. There's absolutely nothing you can't ask him that he won't. Okay. Know so, okay. So, okay. So slight, slight backstory. Okay. Slight backstory real quick. This might take up like the strongest five minutes of this whole thing. Oh, please give it to us. Cause I'm, I I may, I may seem like a big hypocrite on the Air Jordan One. People that have known me for maybe the last ten years of my life, mm-hmm. as being into shoes, mm-hmm. they would say that uh, I used to never like Jordan Ones for like the first half. Okay. And then maybe the last three, two to three years, not even that, but the the last like year or so. Okay. Oh, I've we can you about... try to get in front of this. I see okay. you. I see you. I see you try to get in front of this. Okay, go ahead. I'm not trying to get in front of this. You're trying to get in front I'm, of it. I'm not. I'm not. It doesn't even. It doesn't play out that. It, honestly, this just now hit me because we didn't have these conversations. We try to prep for this, obviously. Yeah. But we. It, this just now hit me like, you're just now asking me questions as if uh, someone who interviewed me would ask me these questions. Mm. You know. Yeah. It, you know, in a sense, because we're trying to build a, a really like a, um, give people reason to listen to our podcast in a sense. Yeah. You know, so um, this just now hit me thinking about what does the Air Jordan 1 really mean to me, Mm -hmm. you know, and why I really do like this shoe as opposed to uh, it not being where it is right now, which is in front of everyone's face. Yeah. Um, So I used to not like the Air Jordan 1 because honestly, I used to hate the way it looked on my feet. Okay. Like, like, straight up truth, bro. I fucking hated them. Looking down, I'm like, dude. I got like these fucking flip flops. <laughs> um, so I just never rocked them, never really bought them, but I was always into them. Uh, the red ones from 01 and the Royals were probably like my grails among grails, uh, growing, like getting into shoes for like the first forever long. Yeah. Um, that was like the $800,000 shoe at the time, which was like, what the hell? <laughs> hell not. Nah. You yeah. know? Um, and then, like, growing up, reading into Nike Talk, one of the biggest threads that they had was the uh, the history of the Air Jordan 1. Like, literally just looking at 1985 mm. and breaking down, like, all 30 original colorways. Okay. Like, like dude, in 85, there were so many Air Jordan 1s that we're now getting as retros. Like, uh, like one of the unicorns of all unicorns was uh, the black and gold pan leather ones. Mm. That is probably, like, the one 1985 Jordan one that is like, Oh shit, there might be one of four in existence ever. And they're all pictured differently. No one really knows what's real or fake. Yeah. It's a trip. It's such a trip. Um, so I, in essence, kind of really uh, gained the interest of shoes because of their Jordan one, just reading about the history of their Jordan one. Yeah. And that's why I like them now. And now <laughs> because they're, they're hella fucking expensive. Oh my Lord. Mm. And that's really what it is. It's trying to get ahead of the resurgence of the resurgence. Like they just keep climbing, climbing, yeah, keep, climbing. It's, I think it's, so, there was a, there was a, uh, there was a, uh, I can't remember. I want to, I'm a, if I, I'm finding a tweet cause I want to, I'll bring it up in the next one uh, mm-hmm. about, they were asking a question of uh, the Jordan one. Cause I guess there's a nice. couple more coming out next year that mm-hmm. are like supposed to be like really big drops. Mm-hmm. And the, the question, which I felt like already answered itself was, is there, is there ever, is it ever going to be anything bigger than the Air Jordan one when it comes to the culture? Like, do we have, um, a do we, can we see a future where the Air Jordan one doesn't dominate? 
the market? I think because of how heavily influence, influencing it is mm. in the market now, so many years later, and still being like Travis Scott collabs yeah. with the Air Jordan 1, like honestly, it's going to take a lot to de- for one other shoe or something to take the 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 attention away from the Air Jordan One. Yeah. Um I think Yeezy's had a really good uh, opportunity at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Um but like I don't really think so. It's 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 always gonna sell out. Um they're always gonna produce hundreds of colorways, colorways yeah. for practically everyone to like. Yeah. Lows, mids, highs. Um yeah bro. Well, yeah, I, I didn't want to get too deep into it because I, I, uh, I want that to be a conversation that we have uh, later on, um, just because that's yeah. a conversation I want to do for like a regular, like one of our regular shows, just, you know, but Ooh. yeah, either way. Um, what happened? Hello, uh, ma'am. I'm currently recording my podcast, <laughs> but I like your sweater, by the way. My little sister just flexed on me with her sweater. Which one? Uh, that she got because of me, by the way. Mm, does, she wanna, she, does she want to give the shout out on she, camera, or she, does she want to? She goes. She goes. She goes. Uh, something about. She, I look at the sweater I have on today. Uh, you're jealous or whatever, because I don't have it anymore. Because I sold it, because it didn't fit my fat ass. Um, mm. Ooh, ooh, mm. take that. Take um, shots at yourself. At myself, you know. It just really, it ran kind of small, you know. So mm. I just got, I got rid of it because uh, StockX kind of gave me a lot of money for it. So yeah. Yeah, <laughs> what's uh, what's what is it? Uh, the Astro World, the uh, the very first one. Wish we were here. Mm. Yeah, I regret not having it anymore. So she just flexed on you right now. Yeah, Damn. that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, uh, what do we what do we leave off? Oh, uh, Jordan One. So, wait, sorry. So, oh, there you go. Jordan Dude, this one. was holding up my mic. Is that, that's your mic stand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I literally put it inside the shoe. <laughs> The mic stand. That's my mic. The mic. The the magic is out, bro. The secret this is, is our, out. This is why we're a secret podcast. Because Mike, uh, if you guys didn't know, our mics always are in shoes mm-hmm. all the time. Mm-hmm. If you on camera may not look like that, but they're always in shoes. Mm-hmm. You see. See, there you go. Um. So, with, keeping with the Jordan One, uh, real quick. So, for me, everybody knows I am not the biggest Jordan One fan. Like, I'm not. Uh, I I don't follow the hype. I like mm-hmm. a couple. Mm -hmm. um there are a couple that i like and but for the most part i'm not a big fan of jordan ones yeah so but i can say at that moment in that documentary i did um i we will get to it later in us uh the other parts of it because there there is a point in the documentary where they do you know start talking about the his collection and like his line his sneaker line and like his deal with uh his signature line and everything like that so when we get to that point i want to get dive a little bit deeper but for me i'm not a big jordan one fan but in that scene i do remember like kind of being like oh because even even in this thing you're like when he pulls it out he's like is this what you're looking for like and i don't know who he's saying it to whoever he's like whoever's in the room i don't know if that's just the camera because the camera is focused on his bag anyway so i'm pretty sure that i'm guessing when that when that came around, when that clip is from, it's probably when the, the shoe probably had just came out for him. Like he just mm-hmm. started wearing it. So they are trying to document like, oh, you know, Jordan with his, you know, his first signature shoe. And that's, you know, the Jordan, that was the Jordan one. Um, I I enjoyed it. Like, I, I like that. I like, I really enjoyed that part of that. Was there always a camera crew? Cause I know there's an emphasis on how there was a all access camera crew. That was for the '98 season. Exactly, but they, they have, have access into they the have facility. but they have footage for every single year. Uh, but I think it was because like just as good point, as just as good as the '98, '97, '98 mm-hmm. footage. But I think that there was because um, with most teams, like there was a at one point there was just get being there and like you because even in some of the the clips that you see when he's like his first couple years, cameras are flooding through all the thing i think in a, at a certain point in the nba they started limiting access because okay. it was kind of getting rough for players to be able to just 
do what they need to do. And so okay. there was even like a um, there was even like a uh, a point in the in the series where he's he's there he's doing a interview and they're like micing him up and the guy asks him can he sign like a paper but he's like micing him up oh, yeah. and there's a dude yeah. right there with the camera yeah. just point at him and then I think for the most part like the NBA was at one point was like okay we need to pull back how much access they have because mm-hmm. they can't all just get in here like we can't just have yeah. them just sitting here but I think the NBA kind of has always taken the same stance of there's a point where the media can get into the locker room and record everything and there's a point when they can't and I think at all times that was the case because in the the 98 season they they specifically say like the Bulls had um granted access to the practice facility and I think is this, that is this the greatest Air Jordan one colorway you can't ask me that's that's, the, that's you gotta ask everybody hey, you else. can you dude you can have an opinion about everything what is what is what do you think is the best Air Jordan the, one colorway Best Air out of, out of the originals, Brad's, Chicago's, uh, Royals, Shadows. Um, there's so many. <laughs> uh, I kind of open. I would say I would say Brad's just because I I like I it, I just love the I love the black and red. I, there's it, you rarely can beat anything with that. Yeah. You can oh, really, what if you split it though, and then you're just like, oh wait, let me walk the other way. So hey, hell yeah, that's what you do. You gotta walk the other way on over. Like, uh, actually, I'm gonna walk this way. So uh, yeah. this, this is how I'm feeling yeah. today. I'm only walking yeah. to my left. Um, but I think I, they they supposed to say like you know they're get granting access to the facility, unprecedented, unprecedented access to the okay. practice facility. So I think for that, I think for the most part, teams weren't like letting just cameras into the practice facility just to have all access. They were like, oh, you could come at these days, but not these days. And I'm pretty sure that year they were like, just come in this is this is our last season just have as much footage as you want come kind of thing. come through yeah because even because i don't think you really bring see the any, snacks i don't think you really see any uh footage of players when they're in a facility by themselves when it's not a team practice because the footage that they got was him working by himself and, and it was from like there. and it was from the outside yeah yeah so i think for i think for the most part it was just like the footage from like the shoes and stuff like that standpoint, I think that's that was like a, that's a, normal. That's a good observation. Yeah. Cause he was just in there working out and then dip like, all right, I did my shit. And that was, you know, like nobody around, no trainers, nothing. He's just in there, you know, working. So I think that's its own thing. But like the clip from the Jordan one, I think it was just, that's when the media has access. So they, they were looking at his shoes. So I have questions now. Go ahead. So they're talking about how much money Jordan made Nike right the first year from okay. sales and whatnot. Okay. So what? Uh, what year? Where did where did 85, Yeah. Where do these numbers come from? Because the Jordan ones went on sale and they were like fifty bucks. Like oh, what? Oh, where? I mean, they might have even been less. Where did but, these numbers come from? Probably, probably. Wait, are you saying like just for that year? I, I guess just coming from the Jordan One. I wonder how much the Jordan One really made. Oh, oh, you, oh, you want to know how? Oh, I thought you said. Oh, yeah. I thought you were, Okay, yeah, yeah. How, yeah, there, there's, there's, there's photos of them being like sixty bucks and shit. This shoe's pretty dope, man. Overall. Yeah, that's a that's a dope shoe. It's a it's a pretty dope. It's a pretty dope um, sneak. Uh, I mean, I wonder. It's pretty cool. Would they? I really, I really like this this logo, like the the, the Air Jordan the, idea, the, the, the concept. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty do they cool. do they have the um do they Chicago. do they keep that um stuff? Is that public? Is that public records? Would that be? I don't know. Public maybe, records? maybe I'm sure you can find it somewhere. Maybe I don't know. To be honest, I I really, I really don't know. Huh. Well, I'll, I'll let's let's look into that because I want shoes are hella cool, man. I want to actually look oh. into it. Yeah, uh, I guess since we're talking about shoes, you know, at the end of the day, we gotta you know kind of make things current. Mm. Uh, so the Air Jordan One right now, uh, obviously, is blowing up everywhere. Everyone wants ones. Um, everyone wants them, dude. Uh, mm. uh, my younger sister, I'm trying to get her some red ones, right? And yeah, five and a half, and they're like. Uh, Four fifty to five hundred dollars, almost. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I know I can get like four hundred dollars for her worn once pair, or like three eighty, you know. So like it's just crazy because so many people are willing to pay this and are gonna pay this, and it, I it, that's my fear. I don't when will it stop? You know, I want these shoes, but I don't want to pay these prices. I don't think that they help. Would, I don't think that that would. S- I don't think it's I don't see it stopping. I see it going getting worse than what it is. Like off whites, bro. They're hitting like five thousand dollars now. It's only gonna get worse. Like <laughs> there has to be like there has to be something that has to reset the market. And I don't think there's anything right now that will reset can't, the market. Can't bro, not even a pandemic is like resetting the market. No. It's making it worse. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's making it even worse for, for people. I'm never going to own these shoes, bro. I, I, I don't think there, there are shoes that I've come to the realization I'm probably never going to own unless somebody gives them to me or. I will we, take some off white, uh, Carolinas though. If anyone, mm, you know, just throwing it out know. there, just, you know, in the comments, y'all, y'all. 10, 10, 10.5, you know, just hit them right up. Now. Let them know. Let them know. You already know y'all. Y'all know, y'all I, feel know like, I feel like I, I feel like I can catch that one on the low end of market still before Probably. people start realizing, okay, I can't have this, but I have that. Do you, how many, how many, okay. So it won't happen, but. Which, uh, which it, this is, this is one of those shoes, you know, if I can't have this and I can't have this, I'm going to have both. <laughs> you know, a split of both. So, uh, so now this, like this won't, this won't happen. Like this won't happen, markets. but, but. How many retros of the off-white ones would have to be released before the market got reset for them to come down, price-wise? Oh, uh, like a retro or restock or like what no, do you retro? Could, I mean, I, I it's it's too soon to retro. No, but I'm saying just because I don't think it would. I don't think I personally don't think it would happen. Honestly, like I don't think that they would retro off-white. How many though? Like, were, would I it think t- they two? New, I don't know. They might. I mean, I doubt it. Mm. I mean, I don't know. They've done it to DBs before. Yeah, but that's 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 different. I, I feel mean, like that, that well, was a shoe you thought would in retro. A, that's a, yeah, that's a charity shoe too. And they did it twice. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, in that sense, still, how do you think they, it would they did it? They twice? did it. They did it to encore fours and undefeated fours. They never made it, but they almost did. Mm. You know. Yeah, do you how how many deal do you think would have to how many times do you think it'll be retro before it before the price for the originals go down? It has to be like I don't know, never. <laughs> I don't think the original. You don't think they'll ever go down? Go down ever? The original. I think if anything, it's just gonna drive the original up, hmm. and then the retros lower, like everything else. Yeah. Okay. Just, just a question. Just, just, yeah. a, just uh-huh. a simple question. You know, just wanted to know. Just wanted to see where your head was at. Okay. So, uh, last thing. Uh, so, uh, I guess I'll well, I'll end it with um, Jordan one ranking up, bro. from one to fourteen. Oh, for me at least, uh, personally, on a on, on the I think on everyone's scale it might be the one. Based based off of versatility, um, accessibility for the most part, mm. you know, core purples, things like that. Mm. Um, some ones even hit sale, and you know, uh, but I think for me it's definitely top three. Top three, okay. Yeah, in no in no real order, I guess. Maybe top two, no real order. Okay. Which, which in that case is splits. So we'll. I, my but we're, we're going, no, we'll, 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 we'll get we'll get to see you broke it you damn come on damn. element of surprise edit that out bro Our element of surprise we're trying i'm trying to i'm trying to build your <sighs> list so then you know see 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 overshot it overshot mm. the gun mm. 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 they're not gonna come so back. i like y'all didn't hear that though um <laughs> Did you see the video of that girl that uh, did the TikTok with the core purples? 
I've never no, seen I, that shit. I don't. Um, I might be one of the few people that don't does that does not have a TikTok account. You know, so no, I don't, I don't have a TikTok either. But I'm I'm saying there was, lies. There was on Twitter. You're lying, Chris. You can't go back now. You're lying. It was on Twitter. You can't go back, player. It was on Twitter. Lying. <laughs> Nah, they because they were they were roasting her on Twitter, and there was a couple of people from like the sneaker world, were like like this is what happens when you uh they, they were like this is what happens when you let hype beast get shoes. What was and, it? Uh, it was it it wasn't it wasn't like anything crazy. She was doing like a uh they were like check out her drip, and it was she was wearing a court purple ones mm-hmm. with uh purple camo uh pants, mm-hmm. a supreme. Her, uh, lavender supreme hoodie and i don't know I, she said five panel flannel but i don't know if that's a brand or because i've never heard of them so i don't know but sounds, sounds pretty drippy no but like the way because it was like all purple but it was like different shades of purple but she was like naming off the different like brands that she was mm-hmm. wearing and it, was, it just it was it came off corny okay like it, it just came off like real corny and high beasty so people were like roasting her it's like that i didn't know if you saw it or not it was it was kind of funny it was, it was it was like some like some white girl that was just you know she seemed like she was like tiktok was her thing but it was just weird that like that was the video that you made like we were supposed TikTok, to all like tiktok uh is a very interesting app <laughs> tiktok is a very racist app oh let's let's just let's get that out there anyways uh jordan one for me ranked one through 14 <laughs> i would say Man, I really like Jordan ones. I would say seven. I I think you like bulkier models. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, yeah yeah. As this list goes on, you guys will you will start to see a trend of how my how my list looks when it comes to like silhouettes and like how they fit. Jordan ones, I would 13, say a seven. Thirteen, he was up here, and the one he was down here is down here. Yeah, you know. But you, hey, one, one, and, through, I'm, and I'm like this. The one is up here, and the thirteen is like down here. Yeah, see, yeah, one, one through one through four for me is a, is really uh, is really, yeah. That's it's a, not it's it a, for you. Hmm. One through four isn't. It? They're not it for you. No, I'm saying my my list, my one through four, my top, oh. my top four or five. Like mm-hmm. yeah, like they're they're really they're considered bulky shoes. So okay. But you guys will get that list as we go through. Chris is ahead so, of the dad shoe trend. Oh, always. yeah. I can't, y'all can't wait. I can't wait. Tucked in, <laughs> t-shirt tucked into my shorts with the... Uh, the uh, curveball. Spoiler, uh, spoiler alert. Chris's I'm, number one shoe are the Grant Hills. <laughs> <laughs> the Fila Grant Hills. <laughs> That's how we show up to all the soccer matches for my kids. Oh, my oh, gosh. Uh, but, yeah. So, uh, next up. In the documentary, oh. there is a clip of Jordan. Uh, we talked about them going into facility for the 97, 98. And he was in the Concord 11s. He was shooting free throws. Uh, my eyes instantly went to the his feet. And I was like, ooh, those just look beautiful. Damn, dude. Um, so that was my, that was my, that was my shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, they were... Um, for me, the Concords, it's a shoe that I think is instantly. BTS comedy, BTS comedy behind the scenes. What happened? BTS comedy going on. What? Just, just know it's happening. Uh, uh, but for me, the Concord, uh, the Concord Elevens, I think are one of those shoes for me personally, mm-hmm. are like easily identifiable mm-hmm. with anything and. Mm-hmm. Uh, I the, that is one shoe that I've always wanted and like refused not to never have. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that was funny as hell. What happened? <sighs> okay, so I guess like there's typically uh birds right here, mm. and because of the we're filming. Yeah. I put them away in another room mm. and my younger sister just now plugged it all together. <laughs> so she was, no, she was no hearing chirping. them. She was hearing them faintly, but didn't realize that it was coming from an entirely different room. Uh, Gabe put his birds in the basement uh, and put a towel over them. Just so y'all know. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, damn, Peter, is- do as you wish. 
with his wow, comments. Wow, bro. Google, Google's about to put us in a PETA search because of that, bro. PETA, yo, I, I think we can handle PETA. I think we can handle PETA. Come at us, PETA. They, they don't have no, they don't have no I, proof on us. I got, I got something for PETA next episode. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? I got something for PETA. Yo, we're not, we don't sacrifice animals on live, on, uh, on camera. Can we please not? I'm not gonna sacrifice someone live on camera. We're not we're not showing any uh animal cruelty videos on here. No, but I'm gonna bridge the gap between a documentary and its influence in current culture. Bam. Okay. I'm looking forward to that. Oh right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I can't wait to see what that is. Speaking uh, of Concord Elevens. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh but yeah, for me, I think those are the most easy identifiable. Uh, and I think in the culture, I think that is one of those. Shout out to uh, that... Tinker Hatfield. True, right? Shout out. Do we ever? Did we, have we ever shout him out? Uh, maybe. Like, we, I think maybe we have to do we like have, a rite but... of passage. We have to shout him out. We have to shout out everybody there. Um, but mainly him, you know. Yeah. Mainly him. He's pioneer. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. But yeah, so I think for me, it's easy. Like I think for culture, it's the easiest shoe to like people know that shoe inside the culture or not it was was i think the air jordan one topped it i think growing up i associated more the air jordan 11 Mm. as being like the shoe Mm. but now like people now i think it'll be the one I, i i disagree i think 11 is probably the shoe like i think jordan one is yeah, like I think it's because we're getting so many and they're getting thrown in our face every single week. But I think the Jordan 11, and from what I've noticed, a lot of, and again, I'm not going to hold any weight to like, uh, to a bunch of Instagram accounts to tell me what the streets are saying. But from what I've noticed, a lot of people, the streets are the, talking. The Jordan 11 is a lot of people's favorite, whether it be them just being, you know, hype beast or in the moment or them being real, like, into the shoes like when it comes to jordans mm-hmm. i think jordan 11 always is somebody's top two no matter mm-hmm. what mm-hmm. um and so that for me i think that's like that's why i say i feel like for and for me again it's like jordan 11 i can spot a jordan 11 from miles away any other shoe i probably it probably will take a it's little that, bit of time yeah it's, uh, it's that patent leather bro yeah. like they just introduced like an, a, a foreign material mm-hmm to a on court off court shoe. Yeah. And so I think for I think for me that's that was a what's your favorite colorway? Um, I would say oh that's that's hard. That's that's a hard one. Cuz you know what it's crazy and like let you, I can let you, okay you guys call me hype beast all you want, but it is honestly between the Concord the Concord or the Breads. For me, um, I love it because for me it's a Space Jam. Yeah, see, Space Jam, Space Jam for me is like it could I could make a case for Space Jam being my favorite, but at the same time I've always been that. And the crazy thing about it is with the Space Jam is when the movie came out, mm-hmm. that was the the that was like when I saw that shoe, I wanted that shoe instantly when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. and that's one of the movies that I have multiple versions of. I have the VHS, the DVD, the Blu-ray, the special edition Blu-ray with the three disc, three disc set and all that. Like I have all those. And that shoe was the one shoe where I was like, when I saw it, I was like, I want that. Okay. And so I can make a case for it to be my top two, but right now I've looked If I remember correctly, Concord. Space Jams didn't come out in 95, 96. No. It was only... The retro, which was the first issue, I guess, to the mm-hmm. public. Um, yeah, the Space Jam was another shoe that I read up on, uh, along with the Air Jordan ones. The Space Jam with the forty-five mm-hmm. was a shoe that I was like, "Oh, that's a dope ass shoe." Yeah. But it never came out. Yeah, I when I watched that movie, I remember I wanted that shoe because I because the uh, the the scene where he steps on he like the, of course the like final scene in the movie him like dunking it over stretching his arm dunk everybody and so him like stepping on all the monsters mm-hmm. like when i was a kid i wanted that shoe because i thought oh i i can fly through the air 
with that shoe. You mean my leg <laughs> stretch out? I mean, yeah. Hard. So I remember that was that was the main reason. But again, I was a kid, so I assumed that I did. If, as a, if I if I talked to my my former self as a kid at that age, I guarantee you, I didn't understand that it was his shoe or it was a Jordan shoe or anything like that. I just assumed the shoe he's wearing could make me do that and step on a cartoon's face and stretch my arm ha- a whole length of a court damn near to dunk the ball. And that was my, that was my shit. So yeah. What about you? Just uh, admiring these Jordan ones right here. Uh, what about you? Uh, Concord, uh, yeah. Concord 11s. Uh, I think just that scene think... alone, like, cause I think that was like one of the, um, the first three episodes. I was only saying that we had to see the 11. Relating it back to kicks. Uh, I really like the the high cut the high cut on the patent leather. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's I think that's where my mind goes or my my you know my attention goes to that. Uh, Look at Gabe like being the, all and like being all <laughs> detail oriented. I like that. Yeah, I like the I like the like the um, the the raw edges or whatever, like the unfinished edges. Yeah. So you can see like the the white frayed material or whatever. Mm. Um, that's pretty dope. I like that. Um, I just like the overall height. They were just done again, same thing like everything. Like I said on the last few, mm-hmm. uh, my first pair of Elevens that I have, I don't remember really remember. I think honestly it was the low tops, the IEs, the ones that no one really liked. I think those all, are my first ones too. <laughs> that's all. I, that's all I could afford. <laughs> I low think so key. too. Yeah, yeah. Because I think growing up, the only retros we had were a one retros mm-hmm. up until um, the countdown pack. Mm-hmm. And yeah, right. The countdown bag was the first bread retro since oh one. Yeah. Yeah. So uh yeah, we I That's ease. crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. I were like and that that's crazy that the IEs were our, our like most of a lot of people's first shoe, like kids wise, like our age, I would say. And then as we got older, it was like we it was like a Damn. graduation of dropping us. knowledge right here based on the timeline. Man, we're we that, didn't get bread elevens like that's like that. And I, I think a lot, like, I think that's the beauty of this is, like, we sit back and look at this documentary and understand that we weren't old enough. First off, we weren't old enough to admire Jordan in his height, in his prime. Mm-hmm. And even when shoes dropped, we were still too young to <laughs> to have any of them and, like, buy any of them because most we're of them We're kind of right out. in the middle in terms yeah. of, like, the sneaker game. Um, and what we had, what we were able to buy and what was yet to come. Yeah. Cause a lot of stuff that like is considered like Holy grails for a lot of people. We were in middle school. That word means so much to me or not so much, but I mean, it's different to me and people are like, it's loosely thrown out now. Oh, but like, what's your Holy, what's your grail? A bread like somebody- one was a Holy grail for like 10 years, you know? Yeah. We didn't but- have a real retro. But we have to, but look, see, this is where we start sound like gatekeepers. gatekeepers. We got to understand. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Kids are living what we had to live through. But they go through it so fast, basically, I guess. So many L's. Yeah, because right. they're getting so many. They're getting, like, they're getting thrown, like, 17,000 different shoes. We didn't, we had to live through. I was doing it backwards the first time. And now. <laughs> 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 that no, I think I think for us I think for us like we have to we have to remember like we lived through that where a lot of shoes that we couldn't have are were like yeah were our girls that we just didn't own until we got became older and it's mm-hmm. the same with them like Travis Scott like a lot of people like a lot of kids now the Travis Scott fours are their holy grail like that like those are those are that's I their blame holy grail. I blame Fortnite. Yo, that Astro World uh, for Fortnite was dope. I, I was there. <laughs> I was, oh, you oh you played it? You went through it? Yeah, I, I was there. Uh, I didn't I didn't yeah. I didn't I didn't want to have to re down download Fortnite to do it. I was like, eh, mm-hmm. I'm good. I attended uh, the virtual Travis Scott concert. I watched the whole thing though. I did watch the whole thing. Somebody posted on Twitter and I watched the whole thing. It was that's that's probably the greatest thing I've seen in a while. That was a really dope thing. But anyway, so no, I'm lying. I wasn't there. Oh, oh, you was you was a flown through the air through space while he was. No. What's, what's on? What, what's on? Oh, they did like a I, bunch of. A song I thought it, I thought I thought it was a little corny. I'm not gonna lie. What? Um, I just I don't know. Corny? Yeah, maybe corny is the wrong word. I just I don't know. 
I just didn't want to. I didn't want to. I didn't want to watch that. I don't know. Wow. There go there. <laughs> there goes our views. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Everybody's gonna hate you. Like, yo, you didn't like Travis Scott's Astro World on Fortnite? Oh yeah. <laughs> Let me take my subscription back. I'm unsubscribing. Thank you. Yeah. See, you just you just you just isolated a oh. whole part of our fan base right now. Dude, that was hilarious. Totally worth no. it. No. Nah, yeah. uh, but yeah. So I think. We like we don't want to get into the the realm of gatekeeping because a lot of kids now that yeah it's mm-hmm. thrown around a lot because but I have to also say when I look at people talk about holy grails and like what is their their grail of all times like that mm-hmm. you are right because it gets thrown around a lot because a lot of times it'll be like my grail is the the fours and it's like it's okay off white off white uh, prestos yeah and then and then something else drops that the next week and they're like actually no that's my grill and it's like no no you get like um that's not how that works listen here little kid (laughs) like for me like my 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 grill will always be the db6 like it's always gonna be db6 no matter what Uh, the last retro is going up in value yeah we should probably hop on a pair soon i need to yeah no have a pair of storage this is right i have a pair of storage I do have a pair of swords. I don't think hey, you better go pick it up before uh, gotta, your your locker ends up on uh, your locker ends up on a uh, sword wars, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm all, I, I go I go there, so it's not like uh, it's not like I'm gonna end up. They're gonna give it up. No, it's hey, active. Shoot, shoot, the, shoot those this way, bro. I pay I I pay, I pay my storage fees. <laughs> Thank you I very will, much. I will I will wear those. Uh, nah, a lot nah, more than you will, bro. Nah, once. The one thing, what I wanted to do for one of the episodes is once I'm all set up in uh, uh, AZ and everything like that, and I got my, like, nice little streaming uh, set up and everything, uh, I planned on uh, making one of the rooms a uh, for, like, to be able to shoot this podcast when we do We're Not Together and uh, and everything, but have all my, my shoes in there. Mm-hmm. Do a nice little, uh, little closet tour. So you guys right. can see, because uh, okay. you know who brought you know who uh, who, uh, who brought talk, to my attention was nice, bro. Uh, well now formerly little swoosh, oh, now little kicks, little kicks, yeah. Uh, because who, we I, talking, who I just had to gatekeep and I kicked her out. <laughs> you I kicked go, her out? Why? I closed the gates and I was what? like, "You shall not pass." You know, I didn't let her. Yo, what? Uh, I told why'd her I'm sorry. Why'd you gatekeep her? What'd she do? She posted. Oh, never mind. It's the podcast. We're trying to keep our followers. Come on, bro. Wait, what? <laughs> so she 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 posted her bread her bread twelves, uh, and put flu game. Mm. And I was like, eh, this is not mm. flu games, you know. Oh, you had to come in there and be the old geezer that. Uh, but I told her I was sorry. No, no, she she gonna fight you. But I meant it though. But you know. She she's gonna fight you. She's gonna she's gonna oh, kick well. you in the kneecaps for sure. Oh. Yeah. Damn. I said what I said. Damn. Look at Gabe already being a gatekeeper. Quarantine ain't, radio. Ain't hit 30 yet. Already a gatekeeper. Quarantine radio, man. Dang, you're gonna be on you're gonna be on Mayor TV talking about how these kids don't know uh no no <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Mayor's gonna look at me like, man, listen here. <laughs> yeah, I watched his uh I watched his live. I don't need to get off the topic, but I watched his live uh with uh with uh soul stage yeah and like him like the first like he would they were asking him like yo like so what got you into secrets it's like that and he the first shoe he named off i can't even remember the name mm-hmm. i guess it was like i don't know what he's talking about <laughs> and i logged out i was like I- i'm i'm too old. i'm too young for this <laughs> i don't know i don't know anything he's talking about because he literally they asked him and he's like ah let me let me think and he was like oh yeah i remember and he says whatever it was because i don't know how old he is but he said whatever shoe it was and i was like I've never heard that shoe before, so I instantly closed it off because I was like, yeah. "I think it's, I think it was the '80s, maybe Probably early the '90s where he started, late yeah. '80s." But like as soon as he said it, I was like, "I'm too young for this," and I I clicked off the line. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I knew, I knew yeah. already. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so um, ranking Concord Elevens, the eleven on my on my eleven one through fourteen, one through fourteen. I think it's top five. Top five. You gotta give me a number because I'm. I, I wanna. I wanna. I wanna give a, people a visual of your top fourteen. Okay, so 
If I backtrack, 13 at 13. 13 at 13. One at, if I have to give you a number, I'm going to put one at, I'm going to put one at two. Okay. One at two. Uh, and 11 at, damn, higher than 11 for sure. But I got to think about everything that comes prior to 11. Over that, over that, over that. I think I'm going to put 11 at five. Okay, 11 at five. Yeah. So 13 at 13, one at two, 11 at five. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, 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 okay, 11, I would say, is two for me. Yeah, 11 is two. I'll put 11 at two. So... Uh, where we go? Thirteen. I have thirteen at four. Yeah, no, actually, yeah, I have thirteen at four. I like it. I like thirteen at four. Thirteen at four. Ones at seven, Indeed. and elevens at two. Yeah, I can't wait to get them back. I think I like Concords more than Breads. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Ah uh, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. uh, I would I would say if I had to I would say con uh, bread concord space jam cool gray oh cool grays uh UNC the UNC lows I'm a big fan of the IEs I like the IEs yeah but where, um where I got my stuff. do we do we have um yeah Mm-hmm. Any honorable mentions? You did say you had a fourth shoe. I got a fourth. I got a fourth. Sorry. So. What? I'm end, off. This is end, new to me. End of episode three. Or in episode three. They are going, they have, they have in, introduced Scottie Pippen. They have mm-hmm. inter- introduced Dennis Rodman. Mm-hmm. And Dennis Rodman at the time, if we, if you guys know, was playing for the bad boy Detroit Pistons. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was which of, I am, I am a Pistons fan, by the way. He's a Pistons fan, so he, uh, he, the one hurdle that the Bulls at that time were having issue with were the Bad Boy Pistons. Mm-hmm. The Bad Boy Pistons were whooping their ass, figuratively and literally, mm-hmm. uh, in the playoffs. And so Jordan at this the time has infamous Jordan rules. Yeah, Jordan rules. Uh, they go into detail of like you know what the players like. What are were the rules? Basically, it, beating his ass physically. Yeah. I like the I li- and I like the coach's breakdown of it. Like, oh, if he goes, if he's on the wing, force him to the Literally elbow. You know, kind of three thing. step process to yeah. it. Yeah, and so uh, they talk. They, so they talk about and like Jordan even mentions it. He's like, he he his goal is to get a ring. He doesn't want to be the greatest that or he wants he doesn't want to have all these accolades and not have a ring behind it because magic he wanted to be magic and bird Mm -hmm. you know he wanted to have a ring. he wanted to be in the conversation he wanted to be in that conversation the way he viewed it yeah and so at this time yeah and so at this time the they have like people have recognized that jordan is a legit you know great player like even larry bird talking about the uh 62 Mm -hmm. point game he dropped on him Oh, I'm playoffs? sorry, bro. I'm trying to get some brightness because oh, I guess the sun is going down. Oh yeah, behind me. So, but you can keep going. I'm just. Oh yeah. Um, uh, but I think I uh, I think it was I think he had 62 points against the the Celtics in a playoffs uh, series, and like Bird is talking about like yo, he's like oh, no. one of the greatest. But uh, no, I'm just turning on a light back uh, here. I. Oh, but uh, he talks about like, like everybody's talking about him. Like, yo, this Jordan dude is going to be the greatest. And like, everybody already has that in their mind that Jordan is, you know, going to be this great player. And in Mm -hmm. Jordan's mind, he's like, I don't want to be the guy that doesn't, the guy that doesn't have rings, you know, Larry and magic are, you know, those people, because they have rings, they've done it. And so the end of, so the conversation that we had uh, to make a story less uh, long, the conversation we had was you talked about the transition of Jordan and, mm-hmm. it, and you could kind of see a transition from when it goes from the threes to the fours and the threes, he, that's when he wins 
a lot of the accolades. He does the dunk contest, uh, mm-hmm. the the famous free throw line dunk. I know where we're going. Um, he does the he has the uh, I think he I was, figured it out. MV, MVP season, correct? For the threes? Yeah. That was MVP season, right? Did he? Yeah. I think it was MVP season. I think I think that year he got the MVP. Let me look I mean, it up. Not much, yeah. Um, but he's like getting all these, you know, he's sco- he's you know, constantly winning the scoring championship uh scoring title and all that stuff. And so Yeah. Nineteen ninety seven, nineteen yeah. ninety I mean nineteen eighty seven, nineteen eighty eight MVP season goes to Michael Jordan. Yeah. And so he was wearing the he was wearing the threes. And oh, so shit. I felt like the best way to end this is he was averaging thirty five points a game. Fuck. Yeah, see, he was he was he was a he was a walking bucket at that he point. Was a he was a walking bucket. Bro. And so Man. that season I felt like we should end it on because when we get to episode four, you know, it opens mm-hmm. up. But mm-hmm. how it ends is Yes, he's going to have the accolades of, like, just being Jordan alone. But mm-hmm. that was the end of, like, oh, dunk contest Jordan and scoring title Jordan. It was that he moves on to NBA champion Jordan. And so I uh, want to start uh-huh. with the threes. I want to end this with the threes. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to jump ahead since I already fucked up once. F-bomb yeah. again. Yeah. No. So um, we'll, we'll start. We'll, do, we'll end it with the threes. Okay. First reactions when you like you just see like just just take me like uh, episode three him just you know the the pattern like walk he's his like weird little pattern walk that he I does guess to tie it into to tie it into the documentary mm-hmm. the three now to me resonates young Jordan okay if you can put like a, a, a thing to it yeah yeah uh, I guess it represents young Jordan now. He's uh he's his most his most athletic I guess I would say mm-hmm. um yeah so single single beast Jordan I guess that was the that was the year he broke his foot right nah he broke his foot or was that after? uh his second year so this is the year after year? oh I'm okay yeah, yeah Again, he broke his foot documentary his documentaries like yeah yeah so yeah because that's why history lesson. That's why you have the Air Jordan. Here goes Siri. Listen to my conversation. So I'll listen to Siri. Um, uh, the Air Jordan One, the Chicago. There's mm-hmm. a strap. There's a strap version mm-hmm. that comes up here and here on both shoes, and it's because he broke his foot. So yeah. Do do do. You know, more knowledge. Drop, dropping, uh, dropping that uh, one's knowledge. Told yeah, you. you know, there's Told so you. many of them. But uh, they are Air Jordan Three Elephant Print. Yeah, that that uh, inspiration behind that really is, I guess, elephant skin texture. Mm-hmm. It really is. Yeah, um, <laughs> that's a trip. But uh, that is uh, that 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 shit's dope. I like it. All the colorways are dope. There has all the OG colorways are fire. Can I can I do a little uh, a little uh, what conspiracy up? theory with that Uh-oh. too? Cause think about it. He had the Jordan threes. That's the year y'all whooped his ass up and down the court. Hmm. Eighty eight. No, it wasn't. No, 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 no. Uh, not yet. No. You're a little early. I'm early. Okay, never mind. Conspiracy You're theory. Off. Conspiracy theory, theory off. But it's still on. But conspiracy theory off. I'll be conspiracy theory off right now. Okay. But, sorry, but I was early. I'm just not. I'm just saying. You're a little early. That's it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Air Jordan three favorite colorway. True blue. Ooh. Uh true blue um is the all star colorway. Yeah. For those that didn't know. Do, 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 do. Come on, drop the pants. Drop we're gonna, we're gonna, we're, uh, we gotta have an IM, uh IMDB uh trivia for Jordan's. <laughs> and you're gonna be there. You and it's gonna be live questions I'm asking you have to you have to drop the answer. Do, 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 do. Yeah, um, so he no, wore yeah. an all star game. Yeah, true blue's uh, for me. What about I you? Black, I think it's black cements. Black cement? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I think so. Um, yeah. A lot of people, a lot of people, like, I, don't, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's just the people I know or the, the voices I hear or comments I see. A lot mm-hmm. of people don't like the black cement. Like, not don't like, but a lot of people don't 
have black cements as one their favorite. Like I don't, I rarely hear people talk about it. Dude, black cements for me at least growing up that was the two thousand and the ninety. No wait, that's a part for the. What retro did we get? 03? 03 was white cements. So mm-hmm. 2001 black cements. There you go. Yeah, same year as the breads. Yeah. 2001 black cement threes is what we had until the countdown pack. And that dude, was... I always wanted black cement threes. Like, what? That was one shoe you had to have. That's, that's crazy. The, yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't hear most people talk about the black cement. Like, I hear, like, of course, people talk about them, but I don't, like, a lot of people don't really hold, like, that to be a. Top Who are your friends, bro? I have terrible friends. Who are your sources? Terrible. Spill the beans. IG, Twitter. Amanda, uh, please. Uh, I have a terrible friend circle as well. Shout well, out to my terrible friend circle. Well. But you're in, you're in that circle, so you're, you, but you like them. So now it's the first time that somebody I know said, yo, Black Cement 3s are their favorite. Because everybody, everybody goes to the White Cement, so. Oh, but white cement. I'm looking. I'm literally looking at a pair. There's one over there, <laughs> and uh, they're 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 fire. I mean, you can't go wrong. With yeah, them, bro. You can't. But go I think I think it. black cements get like the raw end of the deal when it comes to those. I mean, if they both have Nike Air on the back, I think I might go white cements. See, fickle. Mm. Mm. Just fickle. You, the black cements can't get low. Get no no unconditional love, no matter what. Damn, that's crazy. Gabe likes you only based off of what your your uh the logo looks like on the back. Just whatever, like, uh, whatever. If you, if you have a Nike Air on the back, oh. he loves you. If you don't, eh, maybe not. I mean, well, my favorite pair of black cements are my Countdown Pack black cements, and those have a Jordan on the back. Mm. So, but is it because it's a Countdown Pack? No, it's because it's way more com- it's comfier and better quality. The le- the le- the leather's more plush. The tongue is actually kind of like okay. Fluffy. You know, yeah, okay. Black cements. He seems like he seems like he's down for the ride, but it does I'm just saying, me, I'm just Get saying, it seemed just seemed a little, you know, I'm, finicky. I'm pick, I'm just for them to pick BC three. There it is. I'm done. There it is. There you end, go. End the conversation. There you go. BC three. There you go. Um, on my on yeah. my list. Oh yeah, list. list. They rank. So I have one at two. Yeah. The three. I think I'm gonna keep it at at three. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I I have the threes at five for me. Mm-hmm. Surprisingly, uh, when I think about my list, I I really like the threes. I don't. I I only have the true blues. I don't have mm-hmm. C, uh, white cements or black cements. I don't mm-hmm. think I'm big. Like I I'm not like I've a, had fire red threes. They're cool. I, you know I want the Katrina threes. Okay. I really want those. Like oh, I've been I had, seeing, I had DB threes too. Mm, okay, mm. Mm-hmm. Those, are nice. those are nice. Yeah, I, I think for me, I'll. One of my grills. If I uh, is a pair of threes. Are a pair of threes? Uh, pit stop Oregon threes. Look that up. Hit, hit the Googler, bro. Mm, pit stop Oregon threes. Hit the, hit the Googler. Pit Stop Oregon Threes. Yeah. Because there's also a white pair. Hmm. You said you said the white ones or? No, the black ones. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're not too different than black Oh, wait, the Pit Crews? Oh, Pit Crews. Pit Crews, yeah. And I'm, my bad. Mm. Go for them in the comments. I don't know how Travis is and how he doesn't like how he doesn't know shoes. <laughs> I was hoping you didn't say that, bro. I was like, uh, oh. z- uh, <laughs> I was, I was, I was going to, but I was like, I don't want, I don't, I'd rather, I'd rather I correct you on camera, so that you look know, at this, bro. Look at the mic, bro. Look at this. See, see. I hate you. Oh my god. Uh, but yeah. So okay. Uh. No one's ever gonna find me credible now. You see that? Mm. They they already don't find me credible. I don't like Jordan ones. I have a Jordan ones ranked at seven on my list. They already don't find me credible. We just gotta rock with it. Man, he's dirtbag. <laughs> um, no, nah, but yeah. So those are fire. So uh, we have mm. we have the your threes are at three. My yeah. threes are at five. 
um, True Blue there's, and New York's up. My, my threes may change, and I only say this. I'm on the fence at three with one other shoe that I can't mention yet until we get there. Okay. Well, so, when after all this is over, we're going we're going we'll finally do a full, full list of it. But as of right, right now, just so y'all know where we're at, this is where we stand right, right now right. for okay. part one. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to leave it on that because, and we are going uh, part, oof, part our show, uh, part two. Sorry, Jesus, part two. We are going to uh, get into episode four, five, and six. Yeah, you're right. Four, five, so, six. Uh, I wanted to end with the three because I feel like just like you were like we were talking about on the phone. I feel like after three, there's oh, we a did get questions. Mm-hmm. We did get some questions. Uh, briefly, just people asked if we would touch on other shoes other than Jordans, you know. Uh, and or, uh, we will. Yeah. We will. No. Yeah. 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 yeah we will. Yeah. yeah. Um, we are. I I want to save that for the end of yeah. part three. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna get to that for sure. Um, I just a wanted to b- kind bunch of, do, of honorable mentions. Yeah, de- oh man, bro. Yeah, a bunch. And there's a bunch that like you brought up that we that we need to to talk about. The Nike airships. I wanted to just kind of like touch on. I wanted to get more into detail with that um, because of the stuff that the facts that I learned about it, mm-hmm. as well as just the conversation we had, you know, on the phone and stuff like that about them. Uh, I would want to give everybody kind of like a opportunity to learn with us. Cause I learned and I'm mm-hmm. not, a, you know, because I'm not, I, I was unaware and thanks to sneaker freaker, the magazine, Australia, shout y'all out. Um, the, they did an article sneaker about it. Sneaker freaker. They did an article about their ships and how people were confusing that with being the one. And that article alone just had me look back like, Oh, did I, thought i knew and i didn't know <laughs> even though like i wasn't a ones fan i was surprised that a lot of the stuff that i saw were jordan one um so yeah but anyways uh i think i want to end it on the three because i feel like i, I next let me, episode let but, me i something just clicked right now in my head and i just wanted to point it out now that, now that we're on the topic yeah so Actually, no. I was looking at the airship to see if they had any branding on the collars, mm-hmm. but they don't because, no. yeah, no, they don't. No, it was just the Nike uh, on the tongue. Yeah. Yeah. Air, airships are dope. They're cool. I like it. Yeah. It's a cool shoe. They, 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 they look good. I'm pretty sure uh, a lot of <laughs> a lot of people uh, scammed a couple people with. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, does it really a scam looking back on it? Because they're no, 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 no. I'm, I'm not. I'm saying, I'm I'm saying, like as joke wise, like I'm pretty sure a lot, a couple people, like you think about now, like with, uh, with uh, B grades and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like I wonder back then how many people was like, yeah, Jordan one, (laughs) and then I was like, nah, Nike Air Airship actually, if if they weren't paying attention. I guess (laughs) the knowledge I gave Chris, or actually he was already already aware of it, but. Um, this colorway came mm-hmm. from the airship, not from actual ones. Yeah, uh, the band colorway was an airship, not an air Jordan one. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then they just played the 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 story, the moniker, whatever, onto this model instead. Yeah, uh, which just did we ever figure out why? Uh, to be honest, like, probably, is there ever like a reason why they probably decided just, to it? probably just better marketing. You know the the mm-hmm. one because it didn't come out until what 2008 2009 the the band ones mm-hmm. so it wasn't really a thing until then yeah which 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 on the topic straight straight to outlet release b grades uh they came out with the true blue threes mm-hmm. um same saturday so yeah you know just throwing out more knowledge you know? just throwing them out yeah. um but yeah so <laughs> well, i think yeah. that's i think that's how we end part one Let's end part one there and then go to next week. We're going to have a, uh, I mean, uh, so I, I feel like we should be able to figure, I'll, I'll give you guys a schedule. So mm-hmm. you guys will see this on Wednesday mm-hmm. uh, and then you guys will see part two on Friday. 
Mm-hmm. And then part three will come out on, on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, so, Sunday, Sunday. Yeah. So we will make sure that we give you guys a, um, you guys will check out the schedule. If we'll you it smell what the rock is uh, cooking. We'll give you guys a, uh, we'll give you guys the, tw- uh, the schedule. It'll be on our Instagrams and all that stuff. And then also we'll um, just check it out. Just honestly, just check it out. Just rock with us. Uh, we'll yeah. give our, we'll give our thoughts on this is kind of going to be the theme and yeah. then at the end of this we will talk about the documentary as a whole i just wanted to mm-hmm. cover the shoes to mm-hmm. begin with and then let's end it with kind of gives us a quicker podcast yeah and then we'll and we'll end it with the full thought of the documentary uh, all right as a complete whole mm-hmm. um but as of right now we're just going to put a pin on that because it's not like the end and you're never going to see us again it's the just, just a little so transition feel, feel free so, to Feel free and fold the page. On yeah, the <laughs> yeah. Go. We'll come page back. two we'll come is coming later. soon. Uh, but yeah, so as uh, check out, uh, please subscribe, follow, like, comment, all those things on your thoughts for episode one through three. That's it. Yeah, that's it on this one. That's it. And then check out part two later this week. Uh, again, I'm your host, Chris. Thank you, Gabe. Again, I'm Gabe. For, yes, sir. For joining. And we will see you in part two. Part two coming. Part one. Part two. Over. All right. Let's rock. Bye.